But sometimes you might hide that, but the calligraphy is hard to hide. And once you got the precinct, it's easy for us to show you pictures of who might belong. Because the first thing I do as an investigator is I don't even rush through the scene. I go to the computer, I want to see who's working that shift at that time. And if it's like black or Latino, I know it's a lot fewer, so I only need pictures of the black and Latinos. And in an hour after everything settles down, I'm going to come see you, and I'm going to put pictures out and ask you, do you recognize anybody? You know, so the first thing I need the five of you to do is just all of you step out the scene. Those cell phones got to be out, record it. If you got audio, hit that. Say nothing. Nothing you say can help this guy anyway. It could just inflame it because now what I see is numbers, and I'm worried about numbers because you guys hit harder than you think. And I'm not trying to get hit, so as I'm trying to deal with him, I don't know if he's armed, I don't know what the situation is. All I know, he's not listening to me and giving me what I need, whether I'm right or not. So I need you just to back out. I need you to just, after you take pictures of the car, the officers, take pictures of people that might be there, because I need to go talk to some people. And if you got them on your phone as a witness, I might be able to find them and go talk to them. Take pictures of the building, because I go to the top of the roofs and start all the way down and knock on every door that the window faces the scene that happens. So I go, did anything happen last Tuesday around four? And they can tell me. So I want to know the location, so I go ask questions. And again, say nothing. If you're arrested, first of all, if you're stopped, your goal is